Okay, question number 16 from the P2 textbook, chapter 2 review, page 45. And this is an important question. Actually, one of my students has asked me to answer this question for him. And um, the circle C has equation x minus 6 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 17. The lines L1 and L2 are each a tangent to, a circ to the circle and intersect at the point 0, 12. Find the equations of L1 and L2, giving your answers in the form y equals mx plus c. So we know the center of the circle is 6, 5. Let me just do something here. Stop it moving. The center of the circle is 6, 5. All right. And we know that's the center, 6, 5. Okay. That's what we know. What else do we know? Okay, so now, basically, what we know is the equation of line 1 is equal to, um, you can say the equation of line 1 is y equals m1x plus 12. And the equation of line 2 is y equals m2x plus 12. 12 okay because you see the you know they have different gradients of course but they both go through the point 12 but what's common between line 1 and line 2 is that they um, basically intersect the curve at one point okay so they just touch the curve at one point or intersect they touch the curve at one point so Basically, for the, for the equation mx plus 12, y equals mx plus 12, there should be two values of m, okay, which are going to be solutions to that okay, equation. And those two values of m will give us what m1 and m2 are. So if I, so if I solve these two equations simultaneously, okay, um, then basically there should only be one solution okay because it will only intersect it in one point okay and there are two different possibilities for that to take place one is over here one is over there so basically for y equals mx plus 12 if y equals mx plus 12 is a tangent is a tangent Sorry, start to get the pot here. My writing again. If that is a tangent to C, a tangent to the circle C, then we can say um, there is only one solution. One solution okay all right so let's see how do i solve this simultaneously well i replace the y with mx plus 12 so i have um, x minus 6 squared plus and i'm going to have instead of y mx plus 12 minus 5 squared equals 17 I'll just carry on down this page. So this is going to give me um, x minus 6 squared plus mx plus 7 squared equals 17. So I can square these. I'll have x squared minus 12x plus 36. And here I'll have plus, I'm going to be careful with this, is going to be m squared x squared plus 14 times mx plus 49 equals 17. Remember, when you square a bracket here, you've got to square this term, you've got to square that term, and you have 2 times this times that. So 2 times mx times 7 is 14 mx. So you could do it the long way if you wanted to. This is using the pattern, which you should be used to by now. So let's gather together the x squared terms. You have x squared plus m squared x squared. And you got the x terms, which are um, 14mx minus 
minus 12x minus 12x okay and the constants terms are 36 plus 49 minus 17 36 plus 49 minus 17 that gives me 68 so that's plus 68 is equal to 0 so now let's see what happens next um, well let's write the x squared term this is basically x squared times 1 plus m squared so 1 plus m squared times x squared that's the x squared term the x term is plus 14 no that should say 14 mx I just made a mistake there sorry that's your 14 mx so you're going to have 14 um, m minus 12 times x okay plus 68 equals 0 that was 14 mx there so now um, this is a quadratic equation and as um, the line y equals mx plus 12 is a tangent okay to this circle this equation should have only one solution so if it has one solution then the 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 discriminant should equal zero so b squared minus 4ac has to equal zero okay so b here is 14m minus 12 so you have 14m minus 12 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 plus m squared okay times c which is 68 and that should have zero and if i solve this equation i will find the values of m for which there will be only one solution and that should give me the two possible gradients okay for that so what i'm going to do here this looks a bit complicated so i'm going to take out the common factor of two in fact i'll just i'll just go ahead and square it. why am i complicating matters so you've got 14 m squared so 14 squared is 196 okay so you're going to have uh, 196 m squared and you're going to have 2 times 14 times 12 2 times 14 times 12 that gives you minus 336 because it's a negative here minus 336 m and you're going to have plus 144 you're going to have minus 4 plus 4 m r. Let me get 4. You've got 68 times 4. So that's, let's just do that step by step. 68 times 4. That's 272. So you've got minus 272 times 1 plus m squared. Let's do it step by step so that we don't get confused. So we've got 196 m squared minus 336 m plus 144 minus 272 minus 272 m squared equals 0 so let's you're going to have basically minus 272 plus 196 that gives us minus 76 so I'll have minus 76 m squared and you're going to have here minus 336m and you're going to have 144 minus 272 144 minus 272 minus 128 is equal to 0 so let's see what number goes into all of these um, 4 Let's say 76 divided by 4. Yes. 336 divided by 4. Yes. And 128. Yes, that will go into 4 as well. Okay, good. So if I divide all of these by negative 4, I'll change the signs and I'll also simplify this. So 76 divided by 4 is going to be 19. So that's 19 
m squared and 336 divided by 4 it's a long question divided by 4 will give me 84 so that's 84 m and 1 to 8 divided by 4 is going to give me 32 so that's pl uh, plus they're all going to become plus because you divide it by negative 4 so plus 32 is equal to 0 so now let's try to solve this equation well I'm going to just cheat here because this is big numbers we could use a quadratic formula to do this okay but let's just use the equation function here it's a quadratic ax squared plus bx plus c Whoops, what am I doing? I messed up there. Um, five, three. Okay, so A is 19. Um, B is 84. And C is 32. So you get minus 8 over 19. So you got M equals... M equals minus 8 over 19 that's one possible value and you get the other possible value which is minus 4 m equals minus 4 so that would actually factorize but it's a bit of a hassle to factorize it so really in the exam what you should do for this is you should use a quadratic formula to get these answers okay if you did what i just did now you will lose marks okay so you should use a quadratic formula and uh, completing this code would be complicated here so use a quadratic formula minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a okay, and that will give you the values of m okay so the two equations of the two equations are y equals mx plus 12 so the equations are y equals minus 8 over 19x plus 12 or the other possible line is y equals minus 4x plus 12. y equals plus 4x plus 12, sorry. One of them was positive and one was negative. Hold on. No, they were both, they were both negative. Sorry, what am I talking about? They're both negative, um, as we can see from here. Minus 4 and minus 8 over 19, yes. And you can see from the diagram as well, they both have negative gradients. One is the steep, this is probably minus 4 one, and the other one is less steep. That's probably minus 8 over 19. Okay, so those are the two solutions to this equation, or to this problem. Uh, it's a bit of a complicated one, but it's still doable. Okay, so be aware of questions like this. Basically, we know that if this is a tangent to this, then when I substitute this into here, there will be one solution. Okay, so when you substitute that y instead of um, the mx plus 12 instead of the y, okay, you end up with a quadratic, okay, and for that quadratic to have one solution, b squared minus 4 is equals 0, and you end up with a quadratic in m, and that will give you the two gradients which will cause a tangent that will, you know, have that property of going through 12. Okay.